things like mass incarceration. Uh, if we're really, we talk about pro-life, but we really talk about pro-flourishing or comprehensive pro-life, which means not only uh, do you have the right to be born, but we need to help people and women, especially in these situations, to flourish through those situations. Does that always have to come through government? Not necessarily, but the Christian should be concerned about what happens to a child after they are born. And in certain ways, not in all ways, certain ways we can do that through policy and legislation. Uh, but that's one of the issues. Uh, police brutality is another one. Uh, making sure that uh, we have relationships with people and that we're not just um, uh, looking past the um, the abuse that they may receive at some time. But this is the way that the AND campaign works. We're going to talk about police brutality, but we're also going to support the police officers who are doing the right thing because we believe that most police officers are in a job where they're putting their lives on the line. And so we're not going to act like there's only police brutality. We're also going to realize that we need to support the police officers so that they'll be in a better, a more healthy situation, knowing that they have um, Christians and people in urban America supporting them. So, so it's both. Uh, we understand that there's not always a clean narrative that's black and white when it comes to these issues. And so we try to do right by both sides, but most importantly is do right by the gospel and have compassion, but also conviction.